Now, this is going to be the first of something we called New Collar Conversations. Those of you that know me, know IBM, know that we are passionate that this digital era be an inclusive era. And that means preparing society so you have more skills, more people have more skills so that they can succeed. And around that, we coined a term new collar, new collar worker, new collar employee. The idea being someone who may not have a four-year degree yet and not blue collar, not white collar. It's something that if we do on scale, it means a new model of education, but we can make a big impact in this being a really inclusive era. With the pandemic around us and COVID-19, it is going to accelerate not only a digital transformation, but I believe a world of have and have nots, meaning if you have the skills to succeed. Just look at what distance learning did for students around the world. I take just the United States. 21 million Americans didn't have access to broadband, maybe not an iPad or a computer, and not a great opportunity and environment. But it is a perfect time to embrace new models. That may mean a new form of distance learning. It can mean a rethink of what a school year really looks like, new curriculum. Now, I've always believed IBM's a builder of technology. It's our job to also prepare society to interact with that technology. That's responsible stewardship. And this is why we've taken on some programs. One was called P-TECH. It's Pathways to Technology Early College High School, a four-year high school with a two-year community college. Think of it as a six-year program. You get your associate degree for free, a curriculum that helps prepare you for what careers are today, mentorships, and a chance at a job. Now, we've been at this for almost eight, nine years now, and we've scaled to 24 countries, over 150,000 students, 600 other corporate partners working with us. That's one end of the spectrum. But then also, we've really developed 21st century apprenticeships. Now, this is about people returning and saying, I need a new career, but boy, I can't stop working. I've got my obligations. So you're paid while you learn in an apprenticeship. And we've got almost two dozen formally set up with the Department of Labor. Now, returnships. How about if you've left the workforce, maybe for family reasons, and you just need confidence to come back? A program all around returnships. So today, I get the chance to announce something called Open P-TECH. So there's the P-TECH, that's a physical six-year school, but think of this as an electronic platform for workplace learning. So what do I mean by that? We looked at those six-year high schools and we said, what is one of the most valuable pieces and can we scale it? And it's what happens related to the workplace. So if you're year one, you get education on content, you get education on different seminars that you might take related to the workplace. Year two, when you're in high school, it's digital badges we have them work on. Year three, it's an internship, even virtual internships. Year four, it's all different things to prepare you to actually succeed in a workplace. So we took that thought, made it a platform. We pilot out in Australia, Brazil, India. So it will be another quarter of a million students we've already touched. So think of that. With this platform, we've doubled to now almost a half a million people that you can impact. And with that goal, you can get relevant education to anyone in the world to prepare so they can be successful in this digital era.